MySQL maintains a system catalog in the information schema database. Now this is a standard database. In fact, if we issue the command show, so we can spell show correctly, databases, and execute, we're going to see a list of um, SQL databases. And several of them we've played with throughout this course, but you're going to see one here. It's the information schema. That information schema is the system catalog, and that system catalog is going to maintain information about everything we have in our database. And we can query that to explore things we have in our databases and on our server. So show databases here will show us all of the databases. If we want to look at them a little bit more, let's do this. Let's do select asterisk from information underscore schema. There we go. Dot tables. And this is going to show us information on all of the tables in our database. And so you'll see the table catalog, the table schema, the table name, what type it is. And as we scroll down under table schema, let's get down below all this, you're going to see this is where our actual database bases start to show up. So if I want to view things, let's say just in the world database, I do this. Select asterisk from information schema where table underscore schema, there we go, equals world. And that will show me all the tables in my world database. For the Sakia database, I just change that to Sakia, and there we go. There are all of our tables. Now, this will show me all of my tables all of my for all of my databases. I can also change this to look at all of my available views. And that will show me all of my views for my databases. If I have something like the world database that doesn't have any, because I deleted the ones I created in an earlier um, video. They're gone now, so we don't see any there. But if I want to look, let me show you one more thing here before we move on and look at columns. It might make more sense to look at it with columns, so let me do that. Let me do columns in the world database and run it. Okay. Now, everything that we have here is a column header. This is just like a regular database, which means I can query any aspect of this if I want to. So this is showing me my table schema world, which is something I can include in my where clause. Uh, I can look for anything. Let me, do, let me look for anything where the data type is integer. And this shows me everything in my world database, including the city or the including the table, uh, what the column name is, what the position is, and the data type is integer. So I can query and filter based on anything that we see here. Show me all of my primary keys. So we come over here and we say column key PRI. So let's change this to where column key equals PRI. And let's see if we can find all of our primary keys. That one I might have misspelled or I might need to capitalize that. Let's try to capitalize PRI. Ah, oh, there we go. That did it. So there are our primary keys. And so we'll see now everything called key is PRI. So using this, the information schema, we can just run standard query language and explore our database. Remember, show databases will show you all of my available databases. And actually, I shouldn't say we can explore a database. We can show all the explore all the databases that are on our server. So remember, show databases shows us what databases we have. And then if we select from information schema, and again, I did a select asterisk. I wouldn't have to. It's standard query language, right? So I could specify the tables or the columns that I wanted. Um, using this information schema, I can begin to explore everything that's in my database and or in my on my database server 
and learn about the database if you know say I'm taking over a new database or I've imported one it's not something that I built or even if I built it a while back and I've forgotten a little bit about it by using the information schema we can explore it and learn more about it.